The year was 2016 and Blackburn Rovers were stuck in the championship. All the hope and desire from the team had disappeared. Things could not get much worse. Or could it? Rovers defy all manner of sanity and hire ex-Dingle Owen Coyle as manager. From then onwards, things got actually much worse. Rovers fell further into the football vacuum of despair towards certain relegation. But it was too late for Rovers. We were doomed. Despite coming to their senses, the hierarchy eventually got rid of the spineless has been and brought in Tony Murray to turn things around. Fast forward 12 months and Tony has rejuvenated Rovers and brought us back to the championship at the first time of asking. But what if Coyle remained in charge? What would have happened to Blackburn Rovers this season? Would he have got us promoted? Would we be champions? Playoffs? Or another year of misery? Let's waste no more time and find out. So here we are folks with the first of a brand new set of experiments revolving around Blackburn Rovers and the 2017-2018 season. What we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is simulate the season. However, each episode will uh, focus on a different manager. In, in fact, a different manager of Blackburn's past. And we're going to kick it off with the last manager before Tony Mowbray to take over the helm. And that is our favourite ex-Dingle. That's right, Owen Coyle. So in this episode, we'll focus on to see how we were, how he would have coped in the 2017-2018 season if he was to still be in charge of Rovers. So let's just show you. So here we are at the main screen for Blackburn Rovers. And there he is, the man, the scoundrel, the sleazebag. That's right, Owen Coyle is still in charge of Blackburn Rovers. Yes, shock horror, it is true. So what we're going to do, we're going to fast forward 12 months, not 12 months. We're going to fast forward to the end of the season and just see where Blackburn end up. See if Owen Coyle still remains in charge and see just how close Owen Coyle can get to the tally set by the legend that is now Tony Mowbray. So let's skip forward. In fact, let's just have a quick look at the uh, at the lineups here. So this is uh, this is the squads. Obviously, it has been updated to the latest possible squads. Uh, I think we're on version 13 point something. I don't know what it is. But um, anyway, yeah, Bradley Dack there. Valued at 7.5 million. How crazy is that? Charlie Morgan valued at 4.7. And this is in League One, folks. This is in League One. But anyway, like I said, we're going to fast forward to the end of the season. See how well he's done. And then uh, and see how close he gets to Mr. Mowbray himself. So here we are, folks, at the end of the season, 31st of May, 2018. So let's waste no more time and jump straight in and take a look at how Rovers fared with Owen Coyle in charge. Well, there you have it. Top of the pops there. Look at that. Finished first in the Sky Bet League one under the Dingles managerial ship. So according to football manager, that is not me. I, I would, uh, you know, wouldn't even give him a shot. Wouldn't even get him a look in because he is a bit of a scoundrel sleazebag. But anyway, according to football manager 2018, he does do the job with Rovers. So let's take a look at the table itself. Uh, there we have it. Rovers top the pops with 86 points. Three points better off uh, than Wigan. And Charlton make it into the uh, into the championship via the playoffs. So Charlton did pretty decent uh, in the actual season. Let's take a look at some of the statistics um, for the players in this showcase season with uh, Coyle in charge. Paddy Madden topped the goal scorer in charts with 25 goals. Charlie White got 20. Yoyan uh, Doyle got uh, 19 goals. Ryan Brewster for Gillingham got 16 goals. Top goal scorer for Rovers looks like Adam Armstrong with 16 goals. Let's take a look at the average ratings. Uh, second, Blackburn Rovers' Elliot Bennett. He gets in there with 7.25, but he's ousted by Josh Timon from the MK Fakes in at number one with a 7.31 average rating. Also in the top 10, we see Bradley Dack uh, in at fifth place. Um, in fact, let's take a look at how... In fact, let's have a look at the transfers made by Dingle and Co. Remy Street is brought in on a free transfer. Uh, Massimo Donati and Cameron Bothwick Jackson were brought in. So let's take a look at Remy Street, a young defender, uh, valued at 1.8 million. Where was he from then? Uh, released, I guess he was on Newcastle's books, uh, went on loan to Port Vale, then to Rangers on loan. Uh, Port Vale picked him up. Had a decent season last season, and Rovers snapped him up on a free transfer. So, good bit of business by Coyle, um, but no money spent. Massimo Donati, uh, with a with a wage of 1.9 million, 37 years of age, um, ex-Italian under-21 
defender, but that was years back. Now he's over 35, 36, 37 years old. He's actually been stuck in the under-23s. So they didn't get that much game time for the uh, League One chaps. And Cameron Bothwick jackson decent uh, left-back, looks like. Could also play centre-back. Played 43 games, so it looks like Amari Bell and co. Didn't really get much action. Let's take a look at the, some of the outs. Uh, the only... Oh, look at that. Derek Williams is the main casualty there. Just shy of a million off to uh, Sunderland. I'm not sure how they fed. We'll have a quick look at that in a second. But he's gone. Um, so a bit of money generated by Coyle. Uh, also, Loney's Butterworth went to Macclesfield on loan. Rankin Costello went to Ebbsfleet on loan. Uh, Jack Doyle to Salford. Charlie Doyle to, uh, went on loan. Um, there are the main youngsters. Joe Grayson also went on Halifax on there. So not too bad. Uh, not, made, not major casualties. So let's take a look at the statistics. So let's take a look at the statistics here. First and foremost, top, who's played the most games? David Roy, of course, in goal. Elliot Bennett was in there, 50 appearances. Cameron Boff of Jackson got 45. Uh, Chapman remained on loan throughout the season, 44 appearances. Charlie Moore grew in there with 43. And Bradley Dak with 41. As for the goals, uh, Armstrong got 19 in all competition. Dominic Samuel got 18 goals what's that all about uh, Bradley Dak 13 Danny Graham only the nine goals and then we start to slowly down fall down the pecking order as for the assists the man in the myth the legend the man who bleeds blue and white Elliot Bennett 19 assists Chapman 11 Dak has 10 um, who is now the most valuable player under under this uh, regime, Bradley Dax, 6.75 million. So uh, I think that dips a little bit, but not too bad. But let's have a look at around the footballing world, see what went on in this crazy season. So Manchester City won the uh, won the Premiership. Middlesbrough and Aston Villa looked like they got promoted. And Leeds got themselves back into the Premier League via the playoffs uh, in the uh, Championship. Obviously, we know Blackburn Rovers topped the pops. Wigan also squeezed back into the championship. And Charlton made it through via the playoffs. As for League Two, Carlisle, Yeovil, Luton made it through automatically with Swindon getting back into the League One uh, via the playoffs. So at the end of each of these experiments, we're going to rank just how well uh, each one of these managers have performed and put them into a league table, obviously. Uh, Tony Mowbray will top the pops at the moment with his current point tally. Uh, and then we'll see where the rest of the managers rank in according to uh, their end result. So in in this instance, Owen Coyle managed to secure 86 points. He did manage to secure an instant return to the championship. And he also managed to do that by becoming league champions. So... We'll whack him in the tally right here, right now. And there he is. He's the first on the board with 86 points. And then obviously in the next episode, we'll look at how uh, another manager has fared in this simulation.